Flood damage state roads across Vermont have reopened to at least one lane, but two are still closed. One of them, Route 5 in Barnet. This section in front of the Barnet Village store needs to be shored up before the road can reopen. While some local town roads across the region are still closed, Route 5 in Barnet and Route 100 South or Route 100 in South Duxbury are the only two state roads with sections that are still out of commission. I mean, this whole road was wiped out in just devastation, and they've already, it seems like they're already halfway done with fixing it, so it's impressive. Here's the progress made on Route 302 in Groton. It, the closed section, as you can see, is back open, but like a handful of other state roads, some areas are down to one lane for repairs. Downtown Rutland's so-called pit could be getting a makeover despite skyrocketing cleanup costs. The pit is the former site of the Berwick Hotel, which burned down in 1973. Now the lot on the corner of Center and Wales Street is used as parking. Rutland Mayor Mike Dungis says Belden Construction has plans to build a new hotel in the space, but first, contaminated dirt needs to be removed from the site. That process could cost millions. There are federal funds available for things like this uh, and state funds available. In that type of investment and in getting that site cleaned up, we don't want to have you know, that in the city anyways. And that's what's taken the cleanup costs from what used to be you know, 500000 to almost $5 million now. And, and that's difficult. That's a, that's a hard pill to swallow, but that's why these programs exist. Dunn just says they're still trying to figure out a timeline for the removal of any contaminated soil.